What? What the? F- what the fuck was that? That was embarrassing. That was stupid. What the hell yes. happened to the writing? What? What episode was it? That fucking a rescue mission done? A, 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 no, a uh, Death Star infiltration mission done fucking worse in every possible this way. Is exactly what I didn't fucking want. Fucking embarrassing. I didn't want this. The writing, garbage. The dialogue, awful. The situations, asinine, stupid. The action filmed terribly. The, what? The, didn't even advance the plot. There's no Anakin. Uh, th- this I. This was a filler episode. What episode is this? Episode. Wait, there's two more left. No, this is three. Four. I know. There's what? Two more six. Left. Are you? Fi- are you joking? There's only two episodes left, and we got this in the middle of it. Guys, this puts everything into question with the series. Wow, I did not expect to get slapped in the face like this. This was like, this was bad. This didn't feel like it had any purpose. Almost like it honestly the fucking, didn't because like we already know what the fuck is going to happen. What the fuck? All right, with those characters. So there was no need to have this kind of filler. Right, and this relies. Notice this. This episode relies on the acting of Reva. And, and Leia, and during the interrogation scenes, don't do that. Revit, no. Leia, mm, no. It's not the uh, And writing, then the, but... the whole ta- uh, Tara, Tala, Tala gets in. Okay, guys. All right. So this episode, let's, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> it is. We need to break it down how stupid we need to break it, it down. is. Uh, uh, There's no stuff. All right. We'll save the verdicts for after because we're just going to break down how fucking dumb this was. I am really fucking surprised. I, I don't know how you listen. I wrote it down. This I wrote it perfectly. Um, this is stupid. <laughs> this is below average TV. Yes, just because it has the Star Wars aesthetic and 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 paint work and you know the fucking sets doesn't inherently make it good, okay, or excusable. This 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 was a bad episode yeah. in in any fucking thing. I mean, wow. All right. Anyway, so anyway, uh, we have uh, Leia gets captured in the last episode. I have no fucking idea how Reva caught up to her. Leia's literally the fastest being on, on the planet, so I don't know how she got her. But uh, that <laughs> happened off screen. So she's at the uh, ocean base, the evil ocean base. Um, and we see who we've seen. By the way, let me just mention this now. We've seen the ocean base has TIE fighters. There are TIE fighters flying. There are TIE fighters attached to the roof. There are TIE fighters everywhere. plenty of ships. Okay, so Leia's captured, and Obi-Wan goes to help. He essentially goes on a suicide mission. We are going to the Mustafar system, where Vader's not too far away. The Imperial presence is motherfucking high, and obviously it is a massive security held base, right? Uh, And she literally walks in there. Number one... I, I barely even believe that her security clearance is still intact, right? Fine. If you allow that, the stupidity and how it is filmed. I, I believe the first interaction where she's like, uh, do you know, I'm your fucking commanding officer. Shut the fuck up. You don't want me to tell the Inquisitors. That is fine. I'm like, we're starting good here. Fine. We go in. The first thing she does is she sits down. It cuts to a different thing. She sits down and she goes, Okay. Come into the secret base. The guy next and there's to a, like, literally a guy. He does turn. Two. He's like, what are you? What inches. Are you <laughs> She's rubbing shoulders with it. And she's like, don't come. Okay, I got us in. I was like, what are we doing? Who did the, what? What are, what are they keeping down here? And then that was the guy who looked over. <laughs> Nobody said shit. All right. I mean, Anyways, you, the guy's like, I don't get paid enough. I don't fucking get paid enough. We get a cameo. I've seen this guy before. He was in, um, he's in, he's in some movies I've seen. Um, this rebel uh, leader is a faction leader, and uh, Obi Wan and uh, Tala get help from him in order to to do this. They get some supplies and and transport and everything. Anyways, Reva is interrogating Leia. Uh, she wants to know about the path, and Leia is. Uh, basically acting ignorant and I guess maybe using some of her force powers in the negotiation because I don't understand why Reva doesn't just rip rip it out of her mind or whatever. I guess Reva doesn't have that power anymore. But like I said, uh, Reva's like, I had a droid too. And she's like playing with this droid. 
And I'm like, God, they are dragging mm. out the Reva thing so it's stop dragging ass. I'm I'm tired of it. They're dragging ass because we know who Reva is. We know our history. It's just annoying as fuck. And uh, what's next? Um, I wrote down. I just wrote down. Oh my god, this is what the fuck? That must have been when she's like, "Come into the secret base." Yeah, <laughs> no, it was. It was we must. Like, <laughs> is this seriously going on? It's like we're watching yeah. some kind of fucking cartoon. We, um, it, this was Death Star infiltration done in the most amateurish way and worse in every way. Um. This is not a fortress, but it's a tomb. That's what it is. Okay, so we it is revealed as Obi-Wan is, you know, moving down the corridors and trying to find Leia that apparently the Inquisitors, they don't kill Jedi, or at least some of them. Uh, they keep them and they uh, house them in amber. <laughs> They're fucking dinosaurs, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are they like, I don't know what this is going to lead to. Are they even going to resolve it in Obi-Wan? We only have two episodes left. No, no. no. You're just going to show that. It, I guess they're harnessing they were just the doing it for Jedi like power. Shock factor. <gasps> oh no! Oh, it's a little kid they too. Could, yeah. Oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> uh, is that like Reva's friend? I think that was just it. And she's like just hanging out. No, that's it. <laughs> this was bad. What else? Oh, you go ahead. What do you mean? D the distra uh, distraction time because Reva <laughs> is about. Oh fuck! Fuck this! I'm tired of speaking to this little girl, and uh, we're gonna well, do a tried, major interrogation. Like she's properly trained and everything, right? Yeah, she tries to read her mind. What? She's like, "What is staring contest?" She's like, "Oh, the force is strong with this one." Huh? <laughs> uh? I guess she couldn't do it because of God layers. Damn it. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> um, so she's the like, "The guy fuck you're this. talking about is Ice Cube's son." Mm -hmm. That's why. That's what it was. Yep. All right, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> Anyways, so the, she's gonna about to do enhanced interrogation with the fucking chair and the fucking stormtroopers, and Obi Wan is like, uh, "I need a distraction now." So Tala uh, decides to call upon urgent. Reva to give her information, and she's waiting in a room. And this, in the middle of the most important thing, she's like, uh, uh, "Okay, well, I gotta go now. Um, I'm gonna go talk to an underling." <laughs> but the stupid part before that that we missed is like. Oh. So, uh, one of the guys, the commander, comes in and is like, you, that's not your station. Come over oh, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> takes her out of the office, and <laughs> off we, we cut back off screen. He's, like, uh, on the other side of the room, just passed out. On the floor. Nobody the floor. notices. Nobody hears. Nobody notices. Nobody says anything. Three like, feet away. He's just right there. <laughs> what? You would have heard some kind of commotion. I know. He's like, know. hey, I'm back. Sorry. I had to uh, kill a guy. <laughs> guy's, like, looking over. And then that's when he calls Reva. And, uh, okay, and then we get uh, Obi Wan um, lights his lightsaber in the dark room. I guess I guess this was cool. And he chops down the first stormtrooper and the second stormtrooper. I I swear to God, I've heard that line before. It might have been Dark Forces. So they, I think it's a video game line. You'll never get out of here or something like that because it didn't quite fit the situation. There's only one way out. I think it was like just they were calling back to maybe a video game. Somebody look it up. And. Uh, and then he kills that guy too, and he frees uh, Leia. Um, and meanwhile, Reva is being distracted with uh, Tala, and I couldn't, I don't understand why Reva doesn't do her fucking. Oh, yeah, you're lying? Okay, let me make sure you're lying with the thing. Did she do that with because the fucking fake defeated. Jedi guy? She felt defeated because she couldn't do it on a kid. Whatever. She's like, you're a really good liar. So they do this thing in the writing where it's like, I know you're a liar, but I'm going to drag this out while, okay, so we do that. And um, <clears throat> they uh, uh, they realize that Leia's escaped. You get the base uh, with the alarm. So everybody is now on high alert. The entire base is going Should doing be. a class. Bree, bree, bree. Should be on high alert. <laughs> right? Um, Scramble the mouse droids. But then we... Uh, the fight scenes in this, are unfortunately, are embarrassing. It's only when Obi-Wan is doing some blocking that we're back to kind of coolness. It, it, they're kind of showing that Obi-Wan is kind of getting back into the swing of things a little bit. He's able to block them every single shot. Maybe it would have been nice for him to get hit once or something. He's already uh, hurt. <laughs> he's hurt, right? Uh, and he's doing it and accidentally uh, blocks laser shot into their underwater, cracks the glass, uh, holds it while, uh, I guess, a, a dark trooper or a death trooper, rather, uh, in black armor with them are trying to get at him. And I was like, just fire through the little crack. And he does. He does fire through the crack. 
<laughs> but that doesn't that doesn't excuse anybody uh, because it's been bad the whole time. So, anyways, um, does she, does she escapes. A trooper walks into a shot as she. Okay, hold on. There's something else. So, anyways, um, he uses his force power to break, not break the glass it's that's already it. broken, but break the rest of the glass so that it bursts from that end towards this end, and then he manages to outrun the water, and then the doors close, Disentired. and then it fills up, and, and they are able to temporarily escape. Then um, they get the master disguise. Mm, yeah, but Reva... Okay, hold on. Uh, we're not there yet, because she is a trooper. That, it's like she's under arrest, and as they're taking her away, she fights them, right? Um and when she shoots one of the troopers, the second trooper like, like presents himself to her. He like literally walks into the next shot she does. I don't know if this was bad choreography where he's like, okay, we go boom, boom, okay, and then I, oh, and it's it <laughs> was just all a semblance of you know fantasy has kind of fallen away, and I'm seeing the process behind the episode being made, and it because it was so bad. Um. That was before the glass cracks, by the way. Um, so anyway, Obi-Wan blocks the shots, the glass crack, and I'm just like, the next scene is the stupidest scene. I think probably even stupider than a nine-year-old uh, outrunning mercenaries in a forest, because you can maybe say the mercenaries are like, we're going to catch a nine-year-old anyway, so we don't need to run very fast. But literally... <laughs> She's walking out the door with Obi-Wan, who is wearing uh, an Imperial officer outfit all fucking r ruffled and, and this overcoat that's <laughs> hiding Leia. And it is the most She's ridiculous. She's like peeking out. It's coast clear. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous looking thing. It's like two, two, two little people standing on top of each other. It was so embarrassing. And they literally walk through everyone on the base in high alert and not a single goddamn person <laughs> notices her when we're on high alert. No. No. Why would and they? And the show does this constant thing. Yes, it's stupid, but they get her anyway. Yes, it's stupid, right? Unless, but then they capture her anyway. Yes, it's stupid that they try to leave, but then they can't. Everybody turns around. Ray was like, hey, uh, was it worth it? To save this little girl and this man, you you betrayed, traitor! <laughs> you betrayed the empire, and uh, and then again, this show More. is like written itself into a corner for no fucking reason. Two T forty seven air speeders just fly in and save her. I mean, uh, they're crack shots that they literally all their turbo lasers hit a hundred and fifty seven soldiers on the on the platform. She's blocking everything. <laughs> And I guess Reva can't fucking block those she large did. ass labors. Did, no, that's I, what I was. She no, didn't hit. Yeah, she did. She did not, Joe. She better not have. Yeah, she did. She was definitely trying. She to was. Block. I, she was trying to, but I don't think I actually heard it her. Takes her arm I don't off. think I've actually see, see her block one of those big ass fucking turbo I'm lasers. I'm pretty from, sure. All right, we'll have to go watch it again. But no. I don't want to. And it, <laughs> you're right. This was the most embarrassing shit, and suddenly the, the the perspective changes, and it's like the speeders get tiny because they're like flying, and I'm like, you're gonna slam into the wall, you're going too fucking close, you're gonna slam into the wall. Like, there's no sense of be space. It's all film, kind of shittily. Mm -hmm. Anyways, apparently they clear the entire fucking platform. Now I will give it to them that yeah, if Obi Wan is able to block every shot, I believe that Obi Wan and Tala going boop 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 can can create a little ruckus of them own and be relatively during protected mayhem. Sure, during sure. the mayhem. That's fine. It's It was just so convenient that the T-47s show up at that spot. I'm like, oh. it, it was the, the camel's the straw that broke the camel's back was already a few. Like, this was just jumping the shark. It's like adding insult to injury. But we're not done. We're not fucking done yet. Uh, because Darth Vader barges in so 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 apparently Darth Vader before the speeders are able to get on their ship and leave Darth Vader manages to come from wherever the fuck he is he's immediately in the base and he fucking uh force chokes her and levitates her I'm like just fucking kill her bro 
please just just fucking kill her. Nope. You're Darth Vader. She Darth Vader literally snaps people's necks for less. And of course the writing it says I'm like please end this stupidity Darth please. And fucking Darth Vader lets her live. No. 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 She had secret information. She had plot armor. <laughs> Well, that's not Darth Vader. It's Garth Vader. Garth Vader lets her live. This shit was stupid and embarrassing. She gets out of it, correct, Joe, by saying, I don't know if she even gets out of it, but after he lets her go, then she's like, I got to track her. Or she said it before and he let her down. He's like, if you fail me again. Not like like, like last time when I said, if you fail me again, again, I'm going to kill you. Again, again. No, no, again, again. Yeah, just one more time. No, man. And then finally... um, we go uh, as the airspeeders are speeding away. One, uh, uh, the third brother shows up or whatever and throws a box at the back of a speeder, which is enough. That's to dis- Han from um, um, Fast and Furious, right? I don't I'm not know. Sure. Bullshit Raiden. Kind of looking familiar. Yeah, he <sighs> slams in the box, slams into the airspeeder, which completely blows it up. Jesus fucking cries. The speeders are pieces of shit. <laughs> and uh, Wade died. Wade, Wade, no, Wade. You want people to die? There you go. It's like. We know nobody's in danger. This is the problem. This is the problem. Strange New Worlds. Uh, you know, Captain Pike, we know his fate. We know the fate of fucking Leia. We know the fate of fucking Obi-Wan. And I don't give a shit about the fate of Reva. I don't give a shit about the fate of Tala. It's fucking Wade. Do you give a shit about Wade? Well, Wade Who? died, Joe. Who? Wade the Boggs? Wade died Who? to bring <laughs> us this information. The Be- Death Star plan. To save Ben and Leia. Embarrassing. It is. Let's go with final verdicts. Final verdicts. I don't want to talk about um, this no more. Me neither. Uh, everything that was written was written very poorly. A lot of what the fuck moments. It did not make any fucking sense. It's like, wait, you guys have TIE fighters. Why didn't you use the TIE fighters when they were escaping? Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> I, I can't believe I almost forgot that. There are literal fucking... You see they them. Fu- they're leaving the whole base. This is the whole thing. On high alert. And the base is on high alert, and no fucking TIE fighter pilots are in the goddamn cockpits or rushing to the cockpits to get in the fucking so What are they? What are they all in the bathroom? They, they don't see these speeders in the radar or anything. Is everybody taking shit? Yes. Everybody's taking a shit. Every single TIE fighter pilot in the goddamn base is taking a shit. <laughs> Alex said it earlier, my Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> They had bad fucking. It was a fucking Salisbury steak was served that day, and it was that meatloaf. It was bad. Yeah, a lot of stupid writing. A lot of like, what the fuck is going on? It's like this is this just shaked my whole fucking you know belief in in the in in these television Star Wars. Like this was bad. (laughs) This was Boba bad. Uh, Yeah, this one maybe worse than Boba bad. bad. Because, like, you already knew what the fuck was going to happen, and, I, and this is what I didn't want. It's like, look, I already know what's going to happen to Leia and everything. I didn't want a babysitting mission, and this is what we oh, got. you got a full babysitting mission. Full show. episode of shit that I did not want to see. This yeah. was a big-time filler. I just, I saw it twice, wow. unfortunately, and I didn't enjoy it This is why time. we brought back Ewan McGregor? Are you serious? He had So that he can fucking... Oh, d- he got Hide behind a episode. goddamn pillar and the... Stu- <laughs> And then uh, so much time on nine-year-old Leia and fucking Reva and, and stupid Garth Vader not killing. Okay, I'm sorry, Joe. I am so no, sorry. Good, Go ahead. You're good. Um, this is going to be a three for me. Yeah. I did not enjoy it. I watched it twice, and I was like, okay, maybe I was too harsh on that. It's like, no. No. Like, I and see you guys the flaws are... even more. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's All like, right. what are I you I was doing? being nice last two episodes, but maybe my faith like was. Like Alex said, I'm sorry I have eyes. <laughs> Well, my I got slapped to reality, my <laughs> friend. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, I thought this episode, and I, I mean this honestly, I thought this episode was kind of hilarious. Disappointing. In, in like a ridiculous kind of way. <laughs> I loved watching an old homeless man Slapstick. with a beard. No one in the Empire has a beard, by the All way. Right, this, and this, this old this. old homeless man, has he puts on a hat wrong, and he puts on a trench coat that I've never seen anyone in this base <laughs> wear. And he's got no. this like either tumor like a or, a, or he's like, in my mind, he's like sitting on Leia's shoulders and like the little <laughs> legs are carrying him through. And every now and then she's opening it up. And like <laughs> at the beginning of the episode, he's like running like through the corridors <laughs> away from the droids. And I kept the hear thing about Benny Hill music where it's like the stormtroopers are running <laughs> one way. <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck is this shit? Now, there is a benefit. There, there was a couple things that they did. That would work in Bad Batch when they're doing a silly thing, I guess. I, yeah. That, Cartoon. This, this is, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Where are you? 
Um, this just feels like someone was like, you know what kids want? It's like kids will appreciate a grown-up show if it's written competently. What you did is this is a stupid child's TV show. Uh, like the the kid being in a trench coat is absolutely ridiculous. Them running around like a, a stormtrooper who should be shitting his pants because an actual boogeyman, a Jedi who he's never seen in his entire life, there's no way out. Cut his dude in half, and he goes, oh, "I'm a there's no way out." There's like, no way out. It's like where, where did that come from? That's an Easter I egg. Think it's, I think it's a line but it's from a, Dark Force. But it's an inappropriate Easter egg that yeah, doesn't belong I, in that I, scene I, what's at, at all. There's supposed to be tension when he's sitting in there holding up a glass panel, and then at the second he lets it go, she's just like. Dude, there's a blast door right here. Like you didn't, you didn't need to hold that. They were stuck in there, and and we were fine. There's no tension at all in this entire show because we know that they live. We we know even when they're sitting there, and he is he has a child in a trench coat, and like I'm gonna kill you. It's like no, you're not. You can't because these characters live. And uh, and then it's like what kind of I was just thinking about like what kind of ridiculous thing happens, and we got terrible speeder CG comes in for no reason. There's no counter air support. No, no one shoots at him. No. There's no radar. Gonna, There's no anything. Can we get one or two TIE fighters chasing them down and then at the last minute m- some rebel fighters show up, blow them up and the fucking take off. No, can't even get that. No, it's just absolutely... <laughs> this, this is Disney. They don't, get the, they don't get the money thing. Like This isn't, a, this isn't <laughs> Netflix who may be luxury. Like, Disney yeah. is fucking like the, great, the biggest, baddest you know, media conglomerate there is. This is and just competent. silly shit. This is again. I don't think that Deborah was the right person to direct the show. Now I'm on board. I don't Last think... time you were like Deborah's a piece of shit. I was well, like, no, I, no, that's too far. I didn't say she was a piece of shit. You I think sure she's did. absolutely the wrong sure person did. to. <laughs> well, fine. This one proves she is absolutely yes. directing this thing like I'm a piece of shit. I'm on board with you now. And I don't know if someone's going in at, after the fact. If Kathleen Kennedy's going, have her have her talk into the thing. Have her silently kill a guy and leave him in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I'm a traitor. They don't know I'm a traitor yet. <laughs> and the guy's like. <laughs> <laughs> I almost <laughs> passed out from laughing. That was weird. It's just like, I, I, like I'm what the traitor. fuck? Who who is sitting at Disney watching this and goes, "We did it! I'm a traitor! Got him! Coming through the door now!" Yeah. It's like, why is she saying that? The guy's right there. Just fucking film it competently, like a fucking creative, good ass director would. They would show the fucking console. They would show her, you know. Clicking the button, being all official, and the little just, and then fucking Obi Wan swims it. What the fuck? She should kill everyone in the room, lock the door, or whatever, and then that's how the high that alarm goes. That might be too I far because then the base would be put on lockdown. But you know what I mean. There's a lot of ways you know that you mean. can do it. Um, so this is severely <laughs> below average. And again, I actually. What, what are you giving it? Uh, I'm giving it a three. I thought it was hilarious how bad it was. <laughs> I, I do think it's super funny. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> not think that Obi Wan hiding a child funny. in a trench coat, or there's no trench coats at all it's in fucking funny Star in a Wars. Bad way, it's, but a good way. It's so fucking funny. It's like, what <laughs> is this shit? They could have dressed her up as a Jawa. That would have been so cool. Oh, like they just like they put a little. Put a Jawa little handcuffs on her, or like I'm leading the Jawa prisoner. Like we haven't gotten a Jawa. Like they could have done anything. Like this is is hilariously (laughs) bad. You know how it, that would have been perfect, Alex. I don't know if you realize how perfect that is because the Death Star they did the Chewbacca Jawa, yeah, (laughs) and then we put in the Jawa. That's too clever. No, it would have been the Jawa, and then uh, Obi Wan's feet with Leia (laughs) Jawa. (laughs) Anyways, guys, three. Three out of fucking ten. This is not. This is embarrassing. This makes me wonder. Like, did we even really have a plan here, or did we just want to kind of just see Owen McGregor come back? I'm on board. I wanted to see him come back, but I wanted the material but that he's like coming this. back for. Not like this. Mm. Not like this. He <laughs> just wrote no tension into the show. Like None. This. All right. Well, that really shook me. Um, they better fucking four. ramp it up Ooh, in the last yep. two. The last two. And the by the way, two. this episode was short as fuck. It was only like 30 minutes. That is amazing. And it's I, like, what the fuck? If this had been any longer, it would have gotten like, we would have done. Ring, rig- ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Got Nacho, and then they would have all danced, and, and while the dancing was going on, then they would have escaped. Anyways, guys, uh, there are two episodes left. I'm scared. I, I'm hoping I'm that scared. the droid then leads, I guess, Darth Vader to Anakin to Obi Wan, and they can do I don't know. Do what? <laughs> yeah, at this point, you better have Liam Neeson, or I'm gonna, fl- I'm gonna like be you had a better pissed. you had a better pitch than the. Than this episode because you're like, so look, he's already hurt. Things. Let's leave him in the tank. Have some flashbacks with Hayden or something. Mm-hmm. That would have been cooler Quiet, than what on. we got. Yeah, he's a, he, I forgot about the opening scene. He's in a doctor tank. He freaks out, jumps out. Where am I? Like, Let's Leia? go get Leia. Let's go get Leia. All right, yeah. guys, embarrassing. 
That's it for this one. Shame on you. Shame on you, Deborah. Shame on you, uh, Kathleen. Shame, shame on you, Disney. Uh, you better have. You better make up for this. Next two episodes, you're gonna make up for it. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye.